One in a hundred of us suffer from the neurological condition epilepsy, equating to 50 million people worldwide. Abnormal bursts of electrical impulses can cause the brain and body to behave strangely. For 30% of sufferers, the drugs just don't work. Now this pioneering therapy claims to have had some impressive results. This method focuses on the interaction between mind and body, using physical alertness to calm the brain and avoid epileptic seizures. That's according to the neuroscientist who invented autonomic cognitive rehabituation training. For patient Terry Murphy, it's been life-changing. Well, it's worked for me very well because um, I was getting several of these epileptic fits or whatever they were, um, about 130 a month. Now they're cut down to, well, I don't know, 12, 15 a month, you know? That's incredible. It's amazing. I couldn't believe it at first when I first started it, but you know, it's working well. Part of the therapy involves trying to gain physiological control. Wired up to this laptop, I'm instructed to move an image by maintaining a sense of alertness. It's not easy. Mm. This is very odd. Um, it seems unbelievable that what I, how I'm feeling in my mind can yes. manifest itself on a it physical is. change on yes. the screen. Mm -hmm. It's very unusual feeling. Why is she going backwards? Uh, because your skin conductivity is uh, going down. I think uh, the neurologists or doctors, <laughs> I mean, they tend, yeah, the role is uh, to look after medication, change the medication, and uh, I hope that more doctors uh, become more aware of this uh, behavioural therapy, mind-body interaction, how important to see patient emotion and how it affects seizures. This is also very important. Dr Nagai is keen to make her approach as scientific as possible and is crowdfunding to raise enough money for a much larger scale trial. Her ultimate goal is to digitise the therapy, enabling the 50 million epilepsy sufferers worldwide to access it for free.